Hello guys, this is InfoRx. We are the tech experts. If you need tech-related information, subscribe our channel and click the bell button. Follow our social media pages. Okay, let's go to the topic. Lenovo Tab M11 Review. The Lenovo Tab M11 provides a good all-round experience without compromising on any key features which makes it an easy-to-recommend device in the mid-level Android tablet space if you are in the market to fill the gap between a smartphone and PC, the mid-level Android tablet. Market offers plenty of options, it is a competitive space, and if you are looking to watch content, attend calls and jot down notes on a screen that is bigger than your average 6-inch smartphone. Lenovo has added another option to the list with its 10.95-inch Tab M11. The Lenovo M11 sits neatly. In this segment, while making some quality additions to the existing lineup, including a stylus, we lived with the Lenovo Tab M11, which runs on Android 13 for a fortnight, and here is what we found. In the box being a mid-ranger, the unboxing experience of the M11 is pretty straightforward. In the box you get the device itself the sim ejector tool yes it comes with lte support and the stylus lenovo called the tab pen you also get a 5 volts adapter with a usb c and the usual paper work design the m11 has an all metal chassis with a clean design that makes the device look and feel a lot more premium than its price would suggest the only design features that distinguish it from other similarly priced tablets are the metal panel on the back of the device, which houses the camera bump for the 13MP rear camera and the Lenovo branding, the metal panel, lends the back panel some character. While we liked the overall fit and finish of the body when held in landscape mode, the power button can be found on the left side panel, along with the speaker grills for two of the four 1-watt speakers, the volume buttons are located on the top panel towards the right side, making it easier too. Avoid accidentally changing the volume when viewing content in landscape mode. Moving further along the top panel, you will find the 4 LTE SIM card slot that doubles as the memory card slot. The 3.5mm headphone slot is also located on the top panel and sits right on the curve which gives connected headphones an almost bunny ears like look. The USB-C 2.0 charging port is located on the left panel. Along with the two remaining speaker grills, overall, the device with its P52 dust and water resistance, well-built body, thoughtful placement of buttons and ports makes it an easy device. To live with, display the M11 sports a Wuxga 90Hz display with a native resolution of 1920 by 1200 The IPS panel peaks out at 400 nits brightness which makes it more of an indoor-use tablet than one that can be used out in the open especially. On a bright sunny day, the bezels surrounding the display are reasonably thin and provide enough room that makes handling the device easier. The front-facing 8.0 MP camera is located in the center of the top bezel making it ideal for use. In landscape mode, we tested the device with multiple streaming websites along with some reading and scrolling and the display was able to hold its own, the colors are sharp, with good clarity and the panel does not leave anything to be desired. Unless you plan on editing images on it, touch sensitivity is also good, and we did not find any issues when scrolling through menus and web pages. Performance The device is powered by the MediaTek Helio G88 chipset, which clocks speeds between 8C. Texa 75 at 2.0 GHz AL plus 6XA55 at 1.8 GHz. The device we received for review came with 128GB EMMC 5.1 and 8GB soldered LPDDR4. RAM, overall performance during our testing was smooth, and we did not face any lags or problems during. The device is more than capable of handling everyday use with some headspace. And unless users are looking for a powerhouse that can be used as a replacement for a laptop, the M11 should do just fine. One place, though, where the M11 stands out is sound. The 4 1-watt speaker setup with Dolby Atmos is a pleasure to use. They are plenty loud, have good clarity, and only when used at maximum volume. 
Will you notice signs of distortion, and even then, they manage to impress with the quality of the audio. In terms of connectivity, the M11 gets 11 AC 1x1, one one, plus BT 5.1 that were more than capable of handling average use cases. Performance of the stylus was also good for a tablet at this price point when used for designing graphics. The stylus does a decent job with no visible legs and input, and while the stylus is included with the device, we did miss the ability to charge it alongside the device, which uses a AAA battery. However, at its price point, it makes for a useful addition and its performance makes up for the lack of integrated charging. Mechanism The only qualm we have with the device is that it can take some time to boot up. However, this should not be a problem since the M11 easily manages a full day for moderate to heavy use, with some juice left. Verdict the Lenovo Tab M11, priced at $17,999, makes for a good deal if you are in the market for an Android tablet, and unless you are expecting it to function as a replacement for your laptop. Lenovo's latest addition to its tablets should do just fine. The device has a good display. Great speakers, well-rounded performance assisted by the stylus, the only caveat is the omission of fast charge, which hardly stings, due to its good battery performance. Highlights Lenovo Tab M11 Sports and 11-inch 90Hz Full HD LCD screen the tablet is compatible with the Lenovo Tab Pen. The Lenovo Tab M11 is offered in LTE and Wi-Fi variants its sports and 11-inch chips. Display boasting a 90 Hz refresh rate, peak brightness of 400 nits, and Netflix HD certification, making it an ideal device for entertainment and multimedia consumption. Powered by the MediaTek Helio G88 SOC and paired with up to 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage, the Tab M11 is designed to deliver robust performance for everyday tasks and more. The device will Come with a 7,040 mAh, battery supporting 105 fast charging, ensuring long hours of usage without frequent recharges. Notably, the Tab M11 will be one of the slimmest and lightest tablets in its category, featuring an IP52 rating for dust and water resistance, enhancing its durability despite its advanced features. The Lenovo Tab M11 will not include a stylus catering to users looking for a straightforward, high-performance tablet experience. The tablet will run on Android 13 and is expected to receive to major OS updates, ensuring longevity and up-to-date software experiences for users. The company has promised two Android version upgrades for the tablet. The company has promised two Android version upgrades for the tablet. The Lenovo Tab M11 boasts an 11 inch LCD display, offering a Wuxga resolution that promises clear and vibrant visuals. The screen also features a 90 Hz refresh rate, ensuring smooth scrolling and an enhanced viewing experience for users. At the heart of the Tab M11 is the MediaTek Helio G88 processor paired with a Mali G50 to GPU. This combination is designed to deliver robust performance for everyday tasks and moderate gaming. Users will benefit from 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage, providing ample space for apps, media, and documents. The device also supports Android 13 out of the box, with Lenovo promising updates up to Android 15. Photography -ni? Eds are covered by an 8MP rear camera suitable for capturing photos and scanning documents, while the front-facing 8MP camera ensures clear video calls. The Tab M11 is equipped with a 7,040 mAh battery supporting 105 charging. Lenovo claims up to 10 hours of video playback, making it ideal for long hours of entertainment or work. Durability is another highlight with the tablet featuring IP52, resistance protecting it from water splashes and dust. Lenovo Tab M11 sports an 11-inch 90Hz Full HD LCD screen. The tablet is compatible with the Lenovo Tab Pen. The Lenovo Tab M11 is offered in LTE and Wi-Fi variants, 